It's true, the 76 lead design has left Bethesda, and despite multiple fixes, the pit still faces a lot of disruptive bugs. The new crash wave is still going too. It's time for another round of news. Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. I have a lot to report today, since, well, a lot has been going on ever since the Pit DLC went live last week. For starters, the 76 lead design is no longer working for Bethesda, a new crash wave has been pestering players across all platforms, sadly, and the Pit can become a true nightmare to endure due to so many issues. In this news, I will also show you a new The Pit objective maps and go over several hot fixes which went live in the past few days. Moreover, I will talk about a new issue affecting workbenches and the concerning exploit which seems to be back. Lastly, The Pit PTS pennant is now live, atmosphere filters can go wild and Minerva has a fort spawn location. Well, let's get straight into the details, shall we? Lead design Steve Massey is no longer working on Fallout 76 or on any other Bethesda game, really. Now, if you are not sure who this developer was, Steve was one of the most active and engaging devs 76 ever had and the lead figure behind the Pit Expeditions. He was basically the team's voice on Bethesda's official Discord when it came to player engagement. In fact, I often used his posts to make news segments, since he sometimes revealed interesting facts, more info and stuff you might want to know. Anyway, a few days ago I tried to track his post's history and I couldn't find anything. That's when I spotted a few players talking about Steve's supposedly leave. I was not sure if it was true or false, so I put my detective hat on and voila, it is indeed true. According to Steve Massey's LinkedIn, he stopped working for Bethesda last month on August 2022. Now, Steve was a veteran dev and he was there since the very start. He was the lead level designer since March 2018 and eventually got promoted to lead designer in late 2021 to lead the daily ops and then the pit development teams. It's not clear if Steve left on his own terms or if Bethesda dismissed him. Either way, one thing is for sure, the community will surely miss his enthusiasm and passion for 76. Lastly, it seems Steve is already working for another company, as his LinkedIn profile refers he's currently working on an announced project. What does this mean for 76? Well, it's no easy task to replace the lead designer, and with another DLC coming soon, I'm afraid delays might happen. I hope not, but that could be the case. Well, I can only wish him all the best in life and in his career. Where should I even start with the pit major issues? There's really a lot right now, but I will try my best to focus on the critical ones. First of all, the game can go unresponsive whenever you host or join an expedition, as it happened in my latest stream. After creating my own expedition, I could not do anything. My screen was frozen on the startup interface as shown. I could move my mouse, yes, but that's it. I spammed keys, my mouse, and nope, nothing worked. Ultimately, I had to kill the game and come back to be able to get inside the pit. How annoying. Another issue I encountered was after leaving the foundry in Union Dews, my camera or game mode went straight into photo mode, like under the map, I think. There was no interface even. It was so, so weird. What in the God's name is that? I'm not even sure how to describe this bug, but as to be expected, I also had to restart the game to get past it. Another very disruptive and annoying bug is when an objective does not spawn or doesn't go as intended. This issue has been under investigation for over a week. I'm talking about the most common issue in the pit in Union Dues, where you need to defend the pen from trogs. Very often the trogs or the trog devourer wouldn't spawn here, or even talking to X would be impossible, forcing the leader to leave the run and rejoin every time this bug happened here, because, well, it's the only way to fix such bugs. Even community manager Volsig suggested doing this to temporarily fix the bugs. Anyhow, and thankfully, Bethesda has released the hotfix yesterday, September 20, to address the truck spawn bug. 
but I can't yet confirm if it's working 100% or not, since this bug didn't always happen every single run. Either way, if the fix is in place, that means one less issue to endure in the pit, and that's always welcome in my book. When the pit DLC went live on September 13, the weekly unique reward was not triggering upon completing a perfect run. How sad. As such, many players reported the issue through social media and their Discord. It didn't take long until Bethesda came public to announce a hotfix to bring the reward system back to normal on September 15. Ever since, players should be getting one unique plan per week when they first complete a perfect expedition, aka completing all the objectives. However, I saw a few posts claiming this issue is not fully resolved. On my end, things have been running fine, but as per usual, things can differ from player to player. If you are being affected by this one, please make sure to contact Bethesda's support to get things solved as soon as possible. Next, I have some great news for you regarding expeditions and objectives. Some days ago, I fully covered Union dues and explained how to complete all the 11 objectives. However, Coffee888 created some very interesting maps, mostly for the secondary objectives and their fixed spawns. For Union Dues, he has marked all the possible spawns for steel ingots in the industrial district. Keep in mind that not all of them spawn per run, only a few do, but this is a huge help, especially if you have no idea where they can spawn. As for the second mission, From Ashes to Fire, Coffee also marked the fixed spawns for both the prisoner colors, as well as the possible locations where the fanatic skeptic can spawn outside of Sanctu. I learned quite a bit here with these images, especially for the second mission, so I believe this might come in handy for you guys as well. Now let's move on to a serious matter, the latest crash wave across all platforms. Ever since the pit went live on September 13, 76 servers are gone wild once more. Hundreds of reports can be spotted across social media, just over Reddit alone there are pages and pages of reports on game crashes, freezes and strange login errors. However, there is something peculiar about the ongoing crash wave. For instance, on PC, players tend to get startup freezes or black screen crashes as shown here. The game just stops responding if you check the Windows processes. As for console, the problem is different, it seems like a lot of players are getting blue screen crashes. Now I have no clue how to improve things on console because I don't play there, but for PC I found out that changing your 76 display from full screen mode to window mode helps a ton. I changed last week and I have barely crashed ever since. I used to play always in window mode, but after reinstalling 76, that's the default, full screen, so I forgot to change and I paid the price. Meanwhile, Bethesda has already confirmed there are multiple crash issues and they have supposedly fixed one related to server crashes. Lastly, Bethesda also stated they are actively investigating reports while trying to connect to game worlds. I would guess they are referring to this kind of errors. I get them sometimes and honestly, I never really understood why. It's so random. Either way, let's hope things improve in the following weeks. In my last stream, many of you complained about crashing inside the pit and that's the absolute worst. It's enough the pit came live with its share of issues to add crashes on top of it all. Yeah, we definitely need even more hotfixes over here. I'm pretty sure of that. Anyway, the new issues continue with workbenches. During my latest stream, I faced something really odd. I was not able to use any of my power armor workbenches. No, really, I tried one at my camp, then one at my shelter, I even built a brand new one in an open space inside the shelter, and I was not able to use a single one of them, like nothing worked. It kept saying the workbench was busy. In fact, in my first attempt at the camp, I was frozen for like a minute, with the server not responding message on my right bottom corner. It's not visible here because of the camera in the stream, but it was there, I promise. Anyway, chat told me this is an emerging issue with the PTLC. However, I found a few reports from months ago, which makes me believe this used to be a rare bug before, but now it's way more common. Anyway, later on in the same exact server, I went to Maddocrop's camp, 
and I was able to use his power armor bench just fine, like nothing ever happened. So this seems to be an item bug, as in it's not related to your character or the space itself. It's a bug affecting specific workbenches for whatever reason. I really hope Bethesda can fix this one soon, or we might have to resort to use random workbenches around. How annoying would that be? The epic quest in search for a workbench that actually works. Ugh, let's keep moving. Now, it seems like a very old glitch re-emerged with the Pit DLC, the Armor Stack Exploit, where players can basically trick the system and equip the same armor multiple times, thus stacking up all its attributes and effects. This exploit used to be part of the old God Mode glitch, you know, where people could get 100 stats on all special and become invisible, pretty much. Last I heard, this one was fixed a long time ago, unless there is another way to do it. Anyway, some cheaters have been hinting towards lag switching, which is the root of many, if not most, cheats. It also implies the armor stack mode is still viable. Well, needless to say that this is a very unbalanced cheat to be live in an online game. It used to be called God Mode for a reason, so I hope Bethesda puts an end to it as soon as possible. Alright, something really strange I came across the other day is about atmospheric filters. You know, the type of visual filters which creates mood in 76. In the pit, we have this gloomy orange filter and a couple of days ago, after exiting the foundry, my gameplay became dual with dark clouds and no orange tones at all. As if the pit filters ceased to work or got corrupted somehow, everything was much brighter and lacked shadows for the most part, as you can see. Then later that day, on another server, I literally saw rat storms all over the place. Just look at that! At Vault 76, the entire area around me was surrounded and covered by rat storms. But was it real? Was I dreaming? Well, maybe. It was a visual bug, as in the filters showed up, yes, but the effects did not work. I entered one of the rad storms and I received no rads, so it's one of these bugs. It often happens with old nuked areas. It's like they expire, but the visual effect remains. As for these new bugs, I'm not entirely sure how it works, though. Next, I have some great news. The Pit DLC went live with several oopsies, such as the disappearance of Season 10's repeatable challenges. Yeah, this type of challenge was completely gone, nowhere to be seen on September 13, but thankfully Bethesda only took a few hours to restore order with a quick hotfix. Ever since, things seem to be back to normal. At least my repeatable challenges have been working just fine. If yours are still gone, do let me know in the comments below. And it's probably better to get in touch with Bethesda, like community support or a community manager. Continuing with the great news, the Pit Public Test Pennant is now live for some days. I did not spot an official announcement about this one, but the Pennant is live for a while. If you participated in the latest PTS, then go ahead, access wall decor in building mode, find the Pennant entry and scroll right until you find the latest entries. The new Pennants look like this, with an industrial orange-yellow background, as well as a Vault Boy stretching like a morning stretch. It's a neat and simplistic representation of the pit. At least I think so. Let's talk about Minerva now. She's back in town at Fort Atlas with another Emporium. Her pool is not that interesting this week. I mean, there's some decent deals like the Chinese stealth suit or the gauntlet. It all depends on what you are currently missing, I suppose. However, the true news here is her fourth possible spawn. That's right, with the pit DLC, Minerva received a new spawn, as shown in the game files. The fourth possible spawn is at the White Spring Refuge, but I'm not entirely sure where exactly. If I had to guess, I would say she will spawn here at this corner because it looks very empty and very suitable for her caravan to spawn at. But that's just me guessing, it's not fixed in stone. Either way, remember that now Minerva doesn't have just three spawns, Fort Atlas, Foundation and Crater. There is one more at the White Spring Resort or Refuge. Lastly, let's not forget about this weekend's community event. It's a pretty weak one. 
but as the only scheduled double mutations and double rewards in daily ops, yeah, that's it, sadly, at least according to the ongoing community calendar. But A, it's always a little help if you're looking forward to farm some extra currencies and experience. Just saying. To finalize this news video, I selected a very peculiar random bug where the Scorch Beast Queen got pinned by her head inside the map. Now, at first, I thought her body vanished for real. I could only see her head, so that's a logical assumption, I guess. But then I remembered how buggy things can get here, so I decided to use photo mode to check inside the map. And look at that, there it was, her full body vertically extending through emptiness. How did this happen though? I have no idea. We killed her and her body just sinked inside the map like melted butter, like there was some sort of rift and she fell in. The bugs we find in 76. Anyhow, that's everything I have to report for the time being. I am Marta Branco and I hope I could keep you up to date with everything Fallout 76. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, a huge shout out to all my dear supporters, you guys rock. Well, I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, take care, adios, bye bye!